<laughs> wow. All right. Okay, let's jump into So we're going to be jumping right into the here. most anticipated match of the day. Surgical Goblin versus Michael. He is CC, by the way. CC, if you guys don't know, he has ranked number four in the global leaderboard with last season closing off in rank number 27 of the ladder. Yeah, I was like, I've seen that name too much to not know who that is. He is always up there, and that is uh, pretty solid. We're going to be seeing some Expo Mega Minion Ice Golem deck from Surgical. And I said earlier in the stream, if you guys were with us at the start of Group 4, that he told me something during the break. What he said was he came up with a new deck for this tournament. He did. It looks like... Do you think it could be this Expo deck? Because this does not look... Um... It's sort of standard. There's generally all, uh, the Mega Minions yeah. iffy, but the, his other cards have to be one or two elixir because you generally want the cheapest cycle possible with it. But look at the value of that golem just tanking the entire life duration of that expo, and then Surgical just pulling that ice golem away. So yeah. that Mega Minion gets no hits off. If we know a bowler or a giant's a good pull and counter to the expo, the golem's got to be the epitome of a good counter if you can get it down and locked. Yep. Because that thing's not going down even for with the that, duration. Even with Surgical planting down an Inferno Tower, that Expo was not retargeting from that Golem. Nope. Very nope. interesting Fireball. He Fireballs a little bit early just so that a Mega Minion can stay on his side. Could he possibly have a Miner or is he just going to let it die? This is actually different from most Expo decks I've seen. But I like it so far. So if you're CC... He puts the Golem down there right now. Do you wait for the Expo to let it uh, be your defense, or do you play it like that to where you just know that it only has to take two steps to be the closest thing to the Expo? It's really interesting. Uh, this is the trend is that you usually don't want to plant down the Expo unless you're at 10 Elixir, or you already have a, an uh, Inferno Tower on the map. Uh, without a nice Spirit or Zap or something to follow up, that Golem, it's painfully lost to the Inferno. There's just It just eats it alive. Expo has to go through a tombstone and a pair of archers before it can touch the tower. And that ice golem just tanks for everything right now. So that Expo once again locks onto the tower. It's, even with 20% health left, it's dealing so much damage to that tower. 35 seconds left, 1100 health. Looks like he's running a very high defensive deck with Mega Minion, Ice Spirit, Ice Golem, and guards. It's very hard to get past there. CC has to find a way to shut the Inferno Tower down. He goes with the Ice Golem in front of the Golem. This could be the one push where his Golem has a chance of touching a tower. He has not touched a tower this entire game so far. Right there, the first damage of the day with the log going at the tower. But that Golem explodes before it's going to do much damage. We've seen Golems just pile up, but... And this isn't, and it's also, Surgical doesn't have any easy win here. He's going to have to cycle quite a few fireballs, but... It's going to be two fireballs and one the log to be able to finish off that tower. But right now, I don't think that's a strategy. Possibly defending to put down another expo, but CC is not letting him put down that expo with just that constant pressure. Like right there, that 6%, the Inferno would still be up a little bit and then go down now maybe. So yep. it wouldn't have heated up that one big tick on the Golem right there. So soon... That push might have made a bigger difference, but as of right now, the balance changes coming soon are not implemented, and the Inferno just swallows the Golem. Really interesting trend between the last two players is that they both chose Ice Golem over Arrows. One fireball very down true. to the tower, it's, it's going to be very difficult with Surgical Goblin already planting down the Inferno Tower. Like, in theory, in this hot. push should work. Ice Golem, Baby Dragon, Golem, Archers. With that ice and the spirit. Lightning comes down here in just a second, I bet. Look, look at that. That's, I mean, that's all right. But then he just needs to fireball. There it goes. Fireball right there, and that is a oh, good man. game with that with log, log dealing three damage. I didn't Surgical know the exact, Goblin takes exact, but the log was cool to see come in there. That was awesome. So what was it? About two sort of successful expo placements with like 20% or less health on the expo was all he needed. Yeah. And that tower was uh, dead to right. So they're going to be starting up their next one here in just a second. Let's let them queue up. Looks like Surgical's... Just hanging out. He's good with the deck. Yeah, so it looks like Michael, which is CC, by the way, is kind of contemplating what he should do next to counter Surgical. Yeah, and they just requested... Uh, oh, they're just requesting here in a second, so we'll be back with them in a bit, but that was interesting to watch. The Expo is just, just about getting it to lock on the tower. That's Even that's though it. there's the Golem on the map, yeah. he's still managing to plant it down at the right time. Every single time he planted down that Expo, it was always able to lock onto the tower. Even... If that one time where it only had 20% health, it still did over 800 damage. Yeah, it was mostly the first half of the match where we saw any Expo on tower, but then as it got on and, and CC was able to uh, 
perfect the golem placement. It was just a matter of fireballs, logs. I think one be one more expo was on. Yeah. I don't know. It's close enough, but interesting to watch. It's sad that the golem, with all that backing, that it can't go through an inferno. Like, yeah. what do you do there? Do you put an ice spirit instead of an ice golem to stop the inferno dead? You don't have a zap. Lightning was his only reset. I mean, he did have a lot of... Um, he didn't really have any answers to that. A skeleton army would have been a little bit better. Yeah. But the log would have just demolished that anyway. So there is no solution for that particular match. Yeah. What's up, everybody in the Twitch chat? Seeing a lot of love over there. I'm here with Yarn from Orange Juice. And we are here in Paris for Paris Games Week. We're going to be jumping into game two. Yep. So right the now, second surgical match for surgical versus CC. Surgical has a different deck this time. He has a princess in there going in for the front. I wonder if this is the new deck, but it's not too new looking yet. I don't know what, like, if you say new, though, what justifies new? A couple changes? It's, it's hard to say, but yeah. if you guys look at that, that log right there, he actually pushed back one archer backwards and one archer to the right, so none of the archers were able to touch the tower. That's some fancy log tech right there from Surgical's part. Baby Dragon moving up the right side. Deadly assassin that he is. You think it's a he or she? <laughs> I think it's a the Baby Dragon's a he. At least I say it. That's hard to say, but looks like there is a rocket in there. It's a rocket cycle deck. Surgical's classic rocket chip deck. Wow. Everything so far has been three elixir runner besides the rocket. So anytime he's sitting at 10 with no immediate offensive threat, he just goes in with the rocket. Looks like Surgical might have another log to answer to that. Was he going to log the archers? He's going to take it up and focus on defending that golem. It's a... Wow, it's literally just cards to get back to his rocket and defend. And then the chip with the miner. Even with that rocket, it's not enough to kill that knight. So they're still dealing quite a bit of damage to that golem. The golemites do reach the tower, dealing one swing each and exploding onto the tower. But it's not quite enough comparing to what Surgical is doing with the damage. With that chip damage from the miner, it's going to be within rocket's range very soon. Oh, and the knight locks on twice. Wow, that baby that dragon. It's, those are three cards the baby dragon doesn't easily take out. With the princess in the front, if he can get one more hit, that's going to be at rocket's range. Now he just needs to cycle back to the log and the rocket, or Michael needs to go for a really big golem push right now with double elixir time. He will have the opportunity. Right this there, is golem where he has back. to shine. Yeah, the golem deck in double elixir versus a deck that has to be what? 3-0? 3-5? Yep. Something like that. A lot of cards under 3 elixir. And then the rocket inferno, obviously the two above. Splitting archers. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the same deck that Surgical used, the rocket cycle chip deck, to, you, to win six tournaments in a row. So it's going to be a very interesting match. That golem gets taken out. That golem gets taken by the second Inferno Tower. <laughs> Surgical is able to cycle back twice to that, and there's no way that it's going to get past there. Multiple Infernos are yeah. so crazy. It's like when the Hog Riders, uh, one unit Skelly decks, and the Inferno where you just constantly send Hogs yep, and cycle Infernos. Oh, man. Ten seconds left. Even if that golem reaches the tower, there's not going to be enough damage to be dealt. That is a crazy deck that never lets you get set up. There, Surgical goes with that rocket onto the golem just because the match is already over. And he's making it look easy with a 2-0, but these are just insanely high-level players right now. They're absolutely precise playmen. Like placements. To get to number four in a season, Michael knows what he's doing. And just 27th last season. That's yeah, 5,300 ish And not even just the ladder rankings. The amount of effort they had to play to get here was yeah. the thousand player qualifiers just to even get here. Yeah. So. Pretty crazy. So Surgical up 2-0. Oh, one more. And he'll take it. Will he switch a third time or not? So so we won with the Expo and then he won with the Rocket. Yeah, it looks like they are both playing on the phone. So they have the, the shortest throw distance on their thumbs is what they say. However, they're playing on uh, one is iPhone, one is uh, Samsung. So <laughs> maybe the drop times. Yep. Maybe the, uh, the OLED screen is... Uh, <laughs> Changing up, I don't know. Who knows at this point? One screen is brighter, one is slightly more responsive. Now we're talking about. Oh, and now I want to jump into the fact that Surgical doesn't have a phone case and Michael does, because that's the next relevant topic I could think of. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, how do you feel about the new golem from a defensive perspective? Because I didn't really explore too much of that in my video. Ice golem. The graveyard. I thought they said the new golem. I might have. Oh, 
<laughs> Wait, there's a new golem coming out? Yarnleaks.com. All right, we're anyways, jumping into round back to three. This, into the third match. If Sergio Goblin wins this match, then he will be taking it home best out of five. Let's see if he uses round, the fire golem. This is round number three. Yeah. All right, we see a, ooh, a Lava Hound deck coming out of CC's hands. Surgical mounts the Expo once again. Expo going down, to just demolishing all those skeletons. Its attack speed is so fast. Like I was talking about earlier, because it attacks so fast, it doesn't have much overkill damage. Versus an Arena Tower versus a Graveyard, but too much overkill damage, exactly. which we talked about earlier. So that you wish your arena tower was like an expo when you see a graveyard, <laughs> right? It would make the graveyard obsolete. Yeah. Look at that Inferno Dragon marching into that tower. Even at full health, it didn't do much damage to the tower. 2012, 2014. The years they were born. Yeah, I was just going to make a year joke, but they won. All right. And then 1964, <laughs> the year Yarn was born. That's right. The first orange was juiced. All right, Lava Hound going on the right lane. As soon as he sees a seven looks a card deployed, he puts down his six looks Rexpo, and the log will make mincemeat of that. Michael with a slight shake of the head, and then he knows that all he has to do is you just kind of put a card down when you feel like the enemy would that, be putting a card down. That Ice Spirit freezing that Mega Minion for two full seconds, so that Expo did just under 4,700 damage. 4,700? Yeah. Okay. It may as well have. So here come the pups. The Inferno, not a wall placement like we've seen with earlier Lava Hound decks, but still beautiful. It really depends. I like to play it in the wall if I know they have a minion horde approaching to kind of counter that. Mm. He knew his expo drew so many cards that he could put it anywhere he wants. Exactly. Here comes the Ice Golem. Could he have a prediction log, or is he going to be too scared from the last time? Lava Hound going in. It's getting distracted very fast. It'll sit there for a good 20 seconds when it's these skeletons or guards. <laughs> Maybe more like 10, but still, it doesn't move. It, it just can't take him out quick enough. And Michael just ignoring that X-Wall because he's trying to go for that one big push. If that one Inferno Dragon can lock into the tower, but there's no chance. He's he already back to his guards twice with the same Inferno Dragon. Two tiles from where it just was. Planting an expo and then <laughs> cycling back to the guards to defend that same Inferno Dragon. <laughs> he literally got back to guards before the Inferno Dragon moved across the river. That's right. Now he's got a really high health expo with an Inferno Tower. There is not much possibility. There's so much health he has to go through to get to that Arena Tower. Ladies and gentlemen, you saw it here first. The new expo meta deck. And it and it beat two. It beat a Golem and it beat a Lava Hound. And obviously you don't just build the deck and start winning. He knows what he's doing with it, but... The plays were unbelievable in that in that match for round three. I don't know. We could check here on our uh, our stat sheet in a bit, but that might have been CC's first m total match loss. What do you think? I haven't checked the brackets yet, but uh, in terms of Surgical's plays, everything was just so flawless from 